Matt Brady, coach of James Madison in his second year at JMU, a 21 season last year. And Tony Shaver in his seventh season at William & Mary, this season CAA Coach of the Year. It's a period where he wasn't shooting as well, but I mean, he's taken such a beating over the season. He's just such a tough kid. What good move muscling in Denzel Bowles. And he really makes it a good offensive rebounder out there with Bowles. Nice pass by Schneider. Julius Wells straight on three. Okay. Julius Wells has had a couple games. He had one early this season against Old Dominion, and he must have hit eight or nine threes. He can really get hot in the post with both hands. Matt Parker tries from the perimeter again, rebounded by Ben Louie. His pass stolen by Danny Sumner. Sumner down court for William and Mary. JMU keeps the rebound alive with 38 seconds left. Wells on the three. Got it. Julius Wells. I tell you, they do not want to let him get going because he can really fill it up. 12 point Duke's lead. Good pass inside the jam. Dan Shell Bowles dunks. Rebound Matt Rum. Kick it out to Schneider. Three ball. Got it. Tribe on the attack. Sumner left corner. Driving runner. Got it. Well, that's, what, that's what you want to do. Take it right at the big guy. Make him play it. Kits regains. And Wells lost it to Kits. William and Mary reset. Schneider firing a three. Got it. Oh, oh. They're not going to be in a hurry now. They're going to execute, run as much of the shot clock as they can, and get the best shot they can. They work the shot clock down, and they get Marcus Kitts on a jam. And suddenly it is all William and Mary. Coming from behind in the second half, and the clock winds down to zero. The season ends for the James Madison Dukes. Tough, hard-fought game for them. They had a 14-point lead in the second half, but in the end, it is William and Mary that moves on. The Tribe is 21-9.